Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to get the best 4K picture and the best Dolby Atmos sound from an Xbox One S and a Dolby Atmos enabled amp configuration using a projector specifically, although this could apply to a TV of course, but specifically for a projector because I found it quite difficult to make sure that I was getting a 4K picture with HDR color capability as well. So let's go through the items one by one and I'll show you how you can make sure you're getting the right thing. So to start off with, uh, down here I've got my uh, Xbox One S and over here I've got a um, Dolby Atmos enabled. It's a Denon X2300 amp and up here I've got the new Epson TW7300 4K projector. Uh, pixel shift projector, not true 4K, but it does produce 4K and has HDR capability. So I'll show you the problems I have. It's not easy to fix, but um, if you follow this, you should be up and running uh, very quickly. So they've uh, done some Xbox updates recently, uh, it's now the beginning of April, they were rolled out at the end of March and firstly you need to make sure that those updates have indeed been applied to your Xbox. This is what the new home page looks like, so if you go across um, and then you need to go to settings and we have a look at settings and then go across there will be system and then you go to updates uh, and you click on latest console update status and you can see that mine was updated on the 31st of March and the last check was the 5th of April and the latest status is the last update was successful. So I know that I've now got the um, ability to send bitstream to my amp which is what you need to get Dolby Atmos. So what you'll be looking for is you need to go back and you go to display and sound and you go across to audio output and you'll see now this wasn't lit up before but it now says bitstream out these are the different options and bitstream out was grayed out before but it now says bitstream out and you need to make sure that that is uh, selected and uh, these, uh, if you're using optical, you can do the same thing. I'm using HDMI out for mine uh, and the bitstream format set to uh, Dolby Digital. So once you've done that, uh, it's not as easy as that. I thought that was all I needed to get Dolby Atmos, but on my amp, I was still not seeing the Dolby Atmos symbol. It just said Dolby Surround. So what I found out you need to do is you go down here to disk oops, a disc and Blu-ray and you go across to Blu-ray and you select that and there's this thing at the bottom here, let my receiver decode audio and that needs to be checked. Once that's been checked you will get Dolby Atmos coming out of your amp. So that's the most important thing. Why they've kind of buried it away there I don't really know. So that's how you get Dolby Atmos. Now the next thing is to check that you're getting a true 4K picture being output uh, from your Xbox to, in this case, uh, your projector. Because some projectors and TVs have different input settings and you may think you're getting 4K but you may not be. So you go down to display and sound and this time instead of audio output you click on video output and you'll see at the moment the TV resolution is set to 1080p. Uh, now you want to just select that and move down to 4K UHD and that'll just take a few seconds. Uh, this has just been uh, had a, an update which is why. So you then click on yes you want to keep that resolution and it will then go to 4K. There we go. Now as it happens with my particular um, projector, um, you're moving over to video fidelity and the color depth for projectors is different and I found out by looking at the manual that my projector can only take 10-bit 
So if you look at the options here, there's 8-bit, 10-bit and 12-bit. So I've selected 10-bit before it was defaulted on 8-bit, I think, and I just couldn't get HDR on my screen. I couldn't understand why I wasn't getting it. So in this case, 10-bit was the one. But that still didn't work, uh, and I looked further and went to the advanced video settings over here. And what I found out uh, online was that the projector doesn't like the 50 hertz refresh rate. It only likes 24 hertz. So they were all checked when when I um, when I looked, but I've turned off 50 hertz so that it defaults to 24 hertz. And you must also check that allow HDR is checked, and obviously allow 4K here as well. Now the other one little nugget that I did miss was this one here. This one wasn't checked, which is allow YCC 422. That needs to be checked, or it certainly does for my projector. And when I checked all these boxes. Uh, I was indeed now getting 4K and HDR. And now I'll show you what they look like and how you can check that you are getting those on your screen. So the first way of checking is you go down to 4K TV details. We're still in the advanced video settings here. Um, select this and this will tell you uh, some information about what you're connected to. Uh, and it says my TV supports 4K, which is good. Uh, it also supports 4K 10-bit at 24 hertz. Now that's the critical thing for my projector. Um, it works on my TV fine before, but it didn't work on the projector. Now that does work. Uh, it says 50 hertz is turned off. That's because it didn't work when I had it switched on. So that's okay. And it says uh, it does not support 4K 10-bit at 60 hertz, but we know that because we selected 24 hertz. So that's okay. Uh, but any apps that do use 8-bit um, will work because it does support it. But the critical thing here is it says your TV supports HDR video. That needs to be ticked and when it does do that then you're good to go for watching Blu-ray movies. So I'm now watching the BBC Planet Earth 2 uh, which is a Blu-ray, uh, 4K Blu-ray with HDR capability uh, from the BBC and I'm watching that on the projector so I'm just going to show you uh, how you can check that you have got a 4K picture. So I'm now going into the menu for the projector um, I'll just zoom in a bit so that you can uh, see that a bit better. So I'm now going to scroll down uh, and go to, uh, oops, a bit far, go to Info and click on Projector Info. Now you can see if we look down from the top, um, it says 3840 by 2160 on resolution. So that is indeed 4K. If you look a bit further down, you get to color depth. And that says 422 12-bit, uh, which is what we set up um, in the Xbox settings. And the color format is HDR2. If that wasn't receiving an HDR signal, that would say SDR. So we now know that we're getting a true 4K image with HDR. I'm very good it looks too. So the last piece of the puzzle, you've got your nice 4K HDR picture. You now need to make sure that you are indeed getting a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. So um, I've now put in uh, X-Men Apocalypse, which I know um, is 4K HDR and has got a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. So I can tell now uh, simply by having a look down at my amp. So we'll just go over here, get down there. And there we go, there's confirmation that it is now receiving a Dolby Atmos signal. So follow these settings and you'll be good to go.